What's up, y'all? So I'm going to be filming a, I don't know, like a makeup routine kind of vibe today. I have came a very long way when it comes to makeup routines. I think it's because I've been working with a lot more makeup artists and just grabbing little tips and things like that for what I want to incorporate in my own routine. So I'm going to show y'all what I do and let's get into it. First, I like to prep the skin and make sure my face is moisturized before putting any kind of makeup on. I absolutely love the Tone Corrector Cream from the YSL New Beauty Collection. I got introduced to this collection about a year and a half ago when I was working with them. And ever since then, I've been obsessed with this moisturizer. It's kind of like the sunscreen consistency. The Hourglass Stick Foundation has become a favorite of mine. I use Warm Beige. I have a couple of strange little undertones, but I found that this one works the best for my skin. I've never really been a full coverage kind of girly. I just like to let my skin breathe through the makeup. YSL sent these brightening concealer pens, so I've been using them for about a week. I like them. It makes the makeup just very like natural. Then when I want to brighten up my under eyes just a little bit more, I use the Rose Ink Concealer in LX050. Rare Beauty has an amazing bronzer stick that I use to contour my face. This one is in good energy. I love this one because it just really melts into the skin and helps me to just sculpt my face. Pictures we can't even post when we're alone. Close. Now when I said I was an Hourglass fan, I was not lying. I love using their bronze flash highlighter. I feel like for me personally, it's hard for me to have a bad day if I'm wearing this kind of highlighter. Just because I'm going to be glowing, you know what I'm saying? And every single time the sun hits you at a certain angle, you're like, you see me. The Liquid Blush by Kaja in Whipped Dream is a must-have in the makeup routine. I kid you not. At first when I saw it in Sephora, I was a little hesitant because I was like, mm, liquid blush, that's a little, I don't know, that's, that's kind of dangerous, that's new. Now it's time to bake. I like using the Translucent Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercer. I try to take a little bit of the product and just dab it underneath my under eyes. And this just makes sure that the eyeshadow doesn't fall into anything that's going on down here, you know. A little bit by my cheekbone area. One of my favorite palettes, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Rose Metals Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. Iconic. On a normal day, I love to use the Pigment Haze that's a part of this palette. It has a little bit of a darker tint to it, but it comes out very glittery, and I like that. After I do my eyeshadow, I give myself the green light to brush away the translucent powder. And then to give my eyes just a little bit of a pop, I love to use a Fenty Beauty Eyeliner Pencil. This one, this one's my favorite. I put it in the inner corner of my eyes and sometimes on the waterline. I almost forgot about this one. My best friend bought me the iconic London Rollaway Glow Highlighter. This, I will say, is a must-have in the makeup routine. This is amazing for glam and also natural looks. And I love to put it on my cheekbones. I put it down my nose bridge, a little bit at the bottom of my nose. And it just ties the look together, honey, okay? Now let's get into these brows because the brows are important. I feel like I always forget sometimes about the brows. And then when I actually do them, a part of my daily routine, then I'm like, wow, okay, big difference. I'm kind of out of my thin eyebrow girl era. I'm now in my model brow. I try to make them really big and fluffy. So I like to brush them upwards with the freeze gel in the brush and brush the ends downwards. If you didn't know, now you know. Lady Gaga has a makeup collection. It's called House Labs. This is my second time picking up this eyebrow pencil in dark brown. So I like to start on the bottom point of my eyebrow and just kind of shape what I want my eyebrow to look like. I kind of stencil it all the way out and then I fill it in. I could definitely do more of like a step-by-step -step breakdown routine if you guys are interested in that. So just let me know in the comments if you want to see an actual eyebrow tutorial. 
Anytime you get discouraged when doing your eyebrows, just remember they're supposed to be cousins, okay? Not siblings, cousins. Meaning they're not gonna look the same. They're not supposed to be perfect. All that matters is that you tried. And if it looks crazy, just wipe them off and try it again. <laughs> this is a very big moment right here, okay? This lip combo is lethal. I start off with lining my lips with the Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in Jeff by Mario. And then I blend the lip liner with the Lip Maximizer by Dior in 12. Honestly, this is a cute plumper just to use by itself. It smells really minty and it gives you that tingly feeling in your lips. And then I like to use another lip pencil. I feel like this one's pretty popular in Morph. This one's in Sweet Tea. And for the final lip product, I use the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in Oat. This is my first time using Tower 28's makeup product. I usually use their skincare, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with their lip jellies. I like to keep my natural spots and my beauty marks, so I make sure I bring them out over the makeup. This is actually specifically used for freckles and beauty marks. I found NYX to have really good setting sprays. This one lasts about 16 hours and it finishes off the makeup with just a dewy finish. So if you want to go see that man, go see that man, but just make sure you wear a setting spray, always. And last but not least, to finish off my makeup routine, I love using Urban Decay's Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. I apply it on the top lash and of course you can never forget about the bottom lashes. And always before leaving the house, you have to do this little trick. Make sure you take a little selfie with the flash on, check the selfie, and make sure that everything blends into the neck. Stay beautiful, stay you, stay confident. And remember, what really matters the most is what's on the inside. Bye.